the um, when you didn't have friction, the one you just did, you knew as soon as you had any two different masses, you knew the system was going to accelerate. Any two different dangling masses, the system had to accelerate because there's an unbalanced force. But here, the first step to this question, the first thing that I, I'm going to ask you is, will the system even move once we release it from rest? Sure, I have two different masses. MC is 8.9. Uh, and MA is 5.8 kilograms, but that difference in mass, the difference of force of gravity that's acting on the 8.9 kilogram mass compared to the 5.8 kilogram mass might not be enough to overcome the force of static friction that's acting on uh, the mass B. All right, so we have to, first question that I'm going to ask you is, question is when is the system even going to move? How can we calculate this? Christy. Good. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's first let's figure out what the oppositional for the maximum force of static friction is going to be. Force of static friction acting on block B. Okay, which is mu or yeah, mu s, the coefficient of static friction times the normal force acting on block B. And since there's no angles or anything or that, we know that the normal force is just equal to the force of gravity. What do you guys to give me that calculation? My calculator is in the office. Okay, 11.3, we'll round up. So let's compare that to the overall net force that's acting between the, the difference in the force of gravity acting on block C compared to subtract from that the, the force of gravity acting on block A. Seven point three. Great. Six point nine or fifty seven point zero. So now we're going to figure out if the if that the difference from F, FGC minus FA if that's enough to overcome the static friction. So the 
unbalanced forces that are going to be causing the system to accelerate would be FGC, and its opposition is going to be some sort of kinetic energy or some sort of uh, friction in, uh, acting between block B and the table and the force of gravity pulling down on block A. We want to make sure, in, in order to decide whether or not the system's even going to go, we want to make sure that the total gravitational force is going to be greater than the static friction. All right? And the total gravitational force is going to be FGC minus FGA. OK, because they're acting in opposite directions. And what did we get here? What's, what's the, the difference? 30.4. Thank you. So the force pulling the system to the right is 30.4 newtons, and the force, uh, the maximum force of static friction that could be opposing that is only 11.3 newtons. So we know we are going to have acceleration. Great. That's just proving that the question is even doable. All right. So that's just like step negative one. Are you going to give us one of these questions where it doesn't move on the test? Um. No, maybe. No. Maybe. <laughs> I don't, I have, honest Scott, I have to look back at the test. I haven't uh, haven't revised it for this year yet. Probably. Well, not. can you like show it to us? <laughs> no. Tomorrow I'll talk about it though. Yes. Probably yes. Yes. Friday tomorrow. Oh, I get the same chart class for what tomorrow? Yeah. Can you let us? Okay. Part B. Uh, what's the acceleration of the system? So we've done a lot of the work for this question already. We've calculated the two forces of gravity. We've calculated, um, well, that's about it. We've calculated the normal force acting on block B. Um, the only thing that's going to change now, we need to do one more calculation. What do you think that's going to be? Because the system is now accelerating. We know it's accelerating. There's one slightly different calculation. I want to get someone else. I know, I know the answer. I'm glad. Okay, we need to find that force before we can do that. Now that this, we know the system's accelerating, we have to calculate the kinetic friction instead of the static friction. Massive D is 4.6. Now we can calculate the net force because we have enough values. I'm going to draw a free body diagram of the system as a whole. So if the system is, again, this is one of those tricky things that we got to kind of visualize, the fact that we got different, uh, we got different 
directions that the system's moving in. Um, just to get a, an idea of the external forces, I'm going to call just left forces and right forces. All right, so forces that are preventing or opposing the motion, we've got two of them. Okay, in this general direction, um, we've got FGA, and we also have FK. What if it's FS? No, because now FS was just to check if the if we can actually overcome that to get the system accelerating. And it is. Okay, so, so now we're using FK. FK that way? Because it's, it's opposing. Look, the, the system is going to accelerate to the right in, in this general direction. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah, and it's going to oppose the uh, motion of the system. Okay? All right, and to the right, we just have FGC. So F net So I'm going to call positive to the in the right direction. So the FGA and the FK are going to assign negative values. A is 56.9. FK we just calculated. And FGC we calculated back up in part one to be 87.3 newtons. So um, FS never ever part of the um, net force? It's sure it is, if, if there's no motion. Okay, if okay, there's so no acceleration. Okay, so we're going to draw it differently by the end. They're different, so there's going to be different net force when, when the body's at rest and when the body's in motion. Yep. And we're going to... Oh. Absolutely. Okay. Another calculation from the audience. Net force, we're one step away from solving for the acceleration. Damn. What can we do for that? Um, F net equals mass and acceleration. We do it up. Which mass do I use, A, B, or C? Oh, oh good call. Direction. Yeah, and acceleration is always a vector value, right? So you always want the direction on there. Okay, we're not done yet. No, now we're going to zoom in and we're going to see if we can figure out the tension in the two rows. I know. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this tomorrow. Let, we'll finish this up tomorrow. Oh, until the